Hi, we're Coheed in Cambria, and you're watching Fuse On Demand. I think with every record that we make, you know, it changes. I don't think so drastically, but you know, we, I think we try to maintain what you know what it is that what Deftones are. But at the same time, making this diamondized record, we didn't look back and say, um, okay, we want to make a record that sounds like Around the Fur, or sounds like White Pony, or sounds like any of these other records. We just, you know, going in, making music that each of us, all individually and collectively, are happy with, you know, and excited with, and. Uh, I didn't have any preconceived thoughts of what style or what it was supposed to be, you know, just the energy that everybody put into it, the creativity, it's the way it came out, you know. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. We had, we had a Nick Raskin Linux producing us, and uh, he, uh, he brought in a nice uh, infrastructure and like a template for us to work within, and which allowed us to just kind of like turn off and just like jam and play and have a good time with that. And the way that he, the way that he organized things allowed for everything, to, like a lot of, uh, it maximized the potential of everything. You know, like we just had a good time. Everything was being captured. We could like listen back to things quickly as our ideas were springing. You know, we can work on them, fine tune them, and like everything happened really quickly, and it was a pleasure. It usually starts with Stefan, or you know some kind of uh, riff or something, you know, some some kind of musical uh, idea. Yeah, anyone could have a riff. It could be a beat, a bass line, yeah. a keyboard part, a, but, um, a, I'll, I'll, a TV commercial. I don't my, know. my initial uh, thing will be to uh, to come with a, a melody or or a kind of rhythmic pattern or something that fits vocally, you know, with it or, or maybe doesn't fit with it but goes, weaves in and out of it. But it's just melody usually. And then... Um, but some words will start to poke out, and then I'll, I'll use these key words, and then I'll just start building around the words. You know what I mean? I never go in and say, oh, I have an idea about this song. It's going to be about this, and it's gonna, I'm going to you know, write it right here. You know, I, I, can't, I can't really do it. I've never really worked that way. You I mean, just haven't done it yet. You know, so you've got a lot of years ahead of you. It could happen. But the way it works now, it's, it's pretty organic. It's pretty like uh, you know, on the spot. I'm, I'm influenced by what, what the music you know, sounds like, and then I just kind of start fitting images to it and build it from there. When it first happened, it wasn't, you know, obviously our first instinct wasn't, you know, what are we, what's, what's up with the band? What, are we, what about this record? What about this? I mean, all kind of energy and focus was on Chi and, like, you know, what's going to happen? I mean, when this first happened to him, we didn't know if he was going to make it the next day or whatever, you know. It was, you know, and, and every day, you know, it's proven to us that he's strong and that he's, you know, that, that, you know, that he has a good chance that he can come out of this, you know. We're still hoping for the best, but, you know, we still have to deal with it. And, uh... You know, but once we actually did all get together in the room together, you know, a few months after his accident, you know, obviously we talked about Chi a lot, you know, and, and uh, you know, it was pretty heavy conversations. But after that, it was like instead of really sitting down and talking about the future of the band and what we should do and this and that, we just started playing and we started writing music. That day, Sergio came in, you know, um, we already we already decided that we wanted to play. So we asked Sergio to, 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 to come out. He came out and he was there, you know, for two days the, the first day. We just started making music. Like everybody just kind of just dove into their creative, you know, space and got got busy. <laughs> 